Richard, from his early beginning, his early roots, uh, he loved racing and, and he did the Soapbox Derby. He did whatever he could. He started racing Grand American cars in 1969 and that was the beginning of Richard Childress Racing. The things that he was able to do, he did them on his own. He, he didn't have a lot of help. He didn't have finances. He worked for it. Desire, dedication, uh, sacrifice, all the things that you can think about, that's Richard Childress. He had uh, that desire, that determination, not to live on what we had done, but always look into the future. Here at the Richard Childress Racing Museum, uh, we have our wildlife and conservation area. Uh, we support Ducks Unlimited, National Wild Turkey Federation, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and the North Carolina Wildlife Habitat Foundation. By doing that, uh, work has gone on to be able to bring elk back into the mountains of North Carolina. It takes folks like Richard Childress uh, that work very, very hard for conservation to be able to go out and see the animals, to be able to go out and hunt. You think about Richard Childress being in the in the jungle or maybe in the mountains or wherever it's at and he's hunting you know some of these vicious animals but yet I've seen Dale Earnhardt come in here and put a mouse in his pocket and make him scream like a girl. Richard grew up in in North Carolina in what was once a very agricultural state we're losing it a lot now so what he wanted to do is preserve a little bit of that agriculture for the next generation not only in his family but in other families and their ability to retain the family farm People say, well, well, what's the, why is it so easy to work with Richard, for you and Richard to collaborate? And it's very simply that the wine is very important to Richard. For Richard, it's not just a tagline. Hey, I'm, I'm into wine, or I'm a race guy that's into wine. The minute he walks into this winery, he has a glass of wine in his hand, and he appreciates it. And Richard, you know, the smells, the taste, what it takes to put this together, what it takes to grow the grape. For a person of passion, in what we do, Richard not only has it in, in racing, he truly has it in wine. And that's why I agreed to come onto the project with Richard. It's like standing at the Grand Canyon overlooking this beautiful view by yourself. You need to share it. it it's only beautiful if you can share it. And the connection that Richard had with, with uh, Forsyth Tech, I didn't know about until my sons got interested in, in, in going to Forsyth Tech. And I went and sat in on the orientation and the guy kind of boasted about all this stuff with Richard Childress. And I thought, oh, this is kind of pretty cool, though. Although my sons aren't interested specifically in, you know, car racing or manufacturing, they're more, uh, I'm hoping to lean them to the wine side. That's kind of Richard's left side. He's got a left and a right. Richard is really not what I would look at if I were to say, what are his characteristics? He's not a manager, he's a leader. And I think the difference between a manager and a leader is that a manager, you know, kind of tells you what to do and then checks up on you and makes sure you're doing what they want you to do. Richard, as a leader, uh, does almost the opposite, where he, he's, a, he's very charismatic and he inspires you to do not what he wants you to do, but what, what's the best of you. He is constantly driven to do better. He's constantly driven to make what he's involved with better. And everybody that works for him, that it's got to fall back on them a little bit because if, if we look in the corner office and we see how hard Richard's working, uh, we've got no reason not to work, to try to work as hard as he does. We don't necessarily always do that, but uh, we sure give it a try. It, we look back in, into the success of Richard Childress Racing, and we kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And Richard had been looking around for a while to try to find something uh, that, that a, a great cause, and that was uh, pediatric trauma. The Institute is a part of the giving back side of Richard Childress. He's heard of the need that exists for children, which is the injury, turns out to be the number one killer of kids, and decided that just can't be left to stand. And he had the courage and the vision to say, let's do something that will help all the kids in the country, not just the children around my neighborhood. It's amazing how much of a difference has already been made with this. Being with Richard has improved the way I do my job as a chairman of surgery by just learning the way he treats people, the way he builds teams, the way he thinks about solving problems, 
the way he looks to the future and, and just determines this is where we're going to go and will not take his eye off that ball. One day they're going to do a movie about Richard Childress. Uh, they're going to talk about Richard Childress and there's been a lot of success stories in this country and you see a guy that came from nothing and he made it big. There's no bigger success story in this country than Richard Childress, what he was able to accomplish. And, you know, I've just, I, I tell everybody when they ask me, uh, you know, what it's been like. And I got to tell you, I've been the luckiest guy in the world uh, just to be a part of it, to see it and see how it's grown.